again, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. Today we are going to take a look at and review the new 3D1, which is a hybrid compound slash polish. It's a rather hot item, a new hot item. However, compared to some of the other ones out there, I believe this one really does have some staying power. I believe it's going to help the beginner, the driveway detailer, the enthusiast, as well as the seasoned vet. I have captured video of the compound at work doing some real world work in some different scenarios. We're going to take a look at one of those today. We're going to take a look at the compound doing some work on soft clear coat which I think is a great true test for a one step seeing its ability to finish down. Let's get out there and get to work. 3D1 Hybrid Compound and Polish comes in three sizes, 16 ounces for $22.99, 32 ounces for $39.99, and one full gallon for $139.99. The hybrid includes nano ceramic alumina abrasives, which are meant to correct heavy defects, heavy to moderate defects, but also finish really, really far. And it does. It cuts well, it finishes well, it's very impressive. The formula is made to go with their uh, line of um, pads, their famous spider pad, and their other pads. I can tell you the compound plays well with just about any line of pads, with any pad really, with any polisher. It works well on the DA. It works well on the rotary. So here we have a new Range Rover Velar. The older Range Rovers, uh, the clear was stubborn. The new ones, soft as butter. So it'll be a great test to see how the product finishes down. We have swirl marks. Uh, we have light scratches and love marks. Uh, the swirls are heaviest on the outside edges. I believe it's been through multiple car washes already in just less than a thousand miles. The top of the hood has staining, some light swirls, and just overall dullness. Um, so we're going to do a little test spot here right on the corner where there's some swirls and uh, and also staining now what we're going to do is we'll use the 15 millimeter throw but we're just going to attach a soft white polishing pad now this is one of the hex pads so this is engineered to stay cooler because of the ridges that are designed in the pad now remember when you have ridges uh, all types of shapes from these different pads that stay cooler less of the surface of the pad is touching your vehicle so that should mean uh, it'll take a little bit longer to correct. However, with this soft clear, uh, and if this is a, um, an oppressive uh, one step uh, compound or polish here, we should be able to do it in two, three passes, keep the temperature down, and I'll show you how the temperature is kept down with this type of a pad. And we won't have to go to a more aggressive pad, hopefully. Let's give this a shot. It doesn't get much easier wiping off the residue, and I'll show you that later. There's no dusting whatsoever. And we'll, let me take off the, the tape, the masking tape, grab the camera, bring you in close, and you'll see it got rid of all the imperfections. Um, it finishes down incredibly well, very impressive. And we can move on to different parts of this vehicle that have different levels of damage and imperfections. Now, because this formula um, works well with the type of pad we're using, which is the hex pad here in this situation, you can use any pad. Some have triangles in them, some have lines, uh, some are uh, waffle shaped, and they all keep temperature down. So we're starting out at 70 some degrees here, and let me do a pass, put a little bit of pressure on there. We'll just do one uh, pass down, one pass back, and I'll take the surface temp one more time. And you'll see we will be within the 20 degree target that we want to stay in. We don't want to get on the spot we're working on 20 degrees um, hotter than the rest of the panel. 
and you'll see we are at 90. So we're well within that range. The pad keeps, it works well keeping the tamp down on the surface and uh, the compound polish is strong enough to remove those imperfections so we can use that pad. And again, it's just a soft polish pad, only a step up from the black application pad or a pad that I use to jewel on the rotary. Here you'll get a nice shot of how easy it is, the residue, to wipe off the panel. No dusting whatsoever. And the gloss, uh, the finish, is impressive. Let me try and get a good angle for you using a shop light. I missed a spot here, a little bit of a smudge. Let me remove that and we'll get back in there. And as you can see, the reflection, the clarity, the gloss, um, very good. So I went ahead and I cut the, the whole hood. So it's cut and it finishes down far enough where I think I'm going to be good with just using this product right here and then hop to protection. All right, how about we go to one of the worst areas on the vehicle, and that's where the fenders are flared a little bit. It's the widest part of the vehicle where the car wash wraps. And guys, I got to put a car wash right next to UVA, UVB as one of the most damaging um, things that your vehicle will come in contact with. And I might even put that number one. As you can see, it just tears clear coat up. When you're going in, you're getting... Uh, a pH of 11 or 12 from their pre-wash and it just it, it is really hard on the clear coat of your car so let's do a little test area on the worst part of the car and you know what we're gonna stick with this pad it's been working well it's keeping temperatures down so if we can remove that type of swirling with this soft polishing pad you know I'm gonna be very happy and it's just another example of what the product can do for you when you team it up with the right pad and it's the key with these one steps are these all in ones teaming it with the right pad for the right situation now i will speed up to keep length of the video reasonable but i'm not going to cut away i'm not going to do editing i want you to see what type of effort and how many passes it takes to remove um, that damage those swirls with this pad and the 3d1 Okay, good enough. Let me bring you guys in close. We'll get an angle using the shop light here. And as you can see, just a huge turnaround. Uh, a little bit of lint from my towel there, but I'm going to finish this door and I may have to do a second pass, but no big deal with this pad and this product. We're not removing a lot of clear coat on this vehicle. Uh, it's just starting out its life, so we're going to leave behind as much uh, clear as possible. That is the goal 
bring out as much clarity and reflection, leaving behind as much product and coat as possible. And the stain that was up on top here, it's just merely a ghost. So I'll probably go over that one more time as well. One last little problem area that we could test a product on, these are the B pillars. It has a soft coating on top of that piano finish as well, and it is scratched and has love marks on it. Instead of the white polishing pad, we're just gonna grab the black application pad. This is a pad used to apply waxes, apply sealants. I use it on the rotary as a jeweler. And if we can use this to remove those imperfections and finish down really well, Again, we're going to be happy. We're not removing a lot of the clear or the protective coating on that piano finish, and that would be wonderful. Beyond my right shoulder, you're going to catch another yet black Range Rover. Uh, probably one of the last few that I haven't detailed yet, but we're going to get to it. That one there has water spots and some overall dullness and scratches. Uh, some deeper scratches. I believe they removed snow with a garden rake, so we're going to try and take care of as much as we can with the 3D1. And then I also have footage of it working on some really hard GM clear coat, and we'll see how it handles that as well. I will be coating these, so that's going to really spike up the hardness uh, from probably 2H, 1H, all the way up to uh, 9 or 10H. So the first pass here, the first try, is I really had very light pressure. And as you can see, there were one or two uh, deeper scratches left behind. Everything else was removed with that finish pad, uh, with that application pad. So I'm going to go over it one more time and see if I can get rid of those deeper ones with the same pad at just a little bit more pressure this time. That's what I did. So let's remove the residue. I'll show you how easy it is to remove. Again, no dusting left behind whatsoever. And indeed, we are now good to go with the B pillars and we can move on. This happens to be a great example um, as to how far the 3D1 finishes down on piano finish. And we're at that point of the video for the before and after. I just want to add, I've been really enjoying this stuff so far. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really treated me well in the situations I put it through. I have other situations I do want to uh, introduce the product to and see how it works out. I'll keep you guys filled in in the meantime. Alright, so for the final thoughts segment of the video, the 3D1 Hybrid Compound Slash Polish. Guys, it hasn't let me down yet. I've tried it in quite a few scenarios. Uh, I'm going to keep working it until the bottle's empty before I order some more. It cuts, um, it works on hard clear coat, moderate works on soft clear coat, it cuts, it finishes down. So this reminds me of a combination of the 3D HD Cut Plus and then its finish ability, the Sonax Perfect Finish. So it reminds me of a hybrid of those two products slapped together in one bottle. But as in everything else, it's subjective, results are subjective. Um, I urge you, if you're looking for a good one step, to at some point give it a try. I'll put a link down below so you can look into it further, check out some more videos on it, read what's going on in the forums. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.